Welcome back, traders out there in Trader Land. My name's Des. Des Woodruff here at Grok Trade. It's Monday, April 25th, 2011. Big news today, gang. We have International Monetary Fund, or also known as the IMF, has set a date to the end of, quote, the age of America, end quote. They are saying in 2016, China will overtake the economic lead. The United States will no longer be the economic powerhouse, that we're going to lose that. Furthermore, they're saying that the next elected president, be it uh, President Obama or be it Mitt Romney or, or Donald Trump or Mike Huckabee or Mitch Daniels, whoever that president may be, that that president will reside, <laughs> will be the last president to reside over a, uh, uh, an economic power here in the United States. After that, it'll be China. Oh boy, sobering information there. Furthermore, we had better than expected new home sales that came out uh, pre-market today. And then we also, we're not pre-market, came out at 10 a.m., Eastern Standard Time right after the market opened and we also we're in the middle of earning season and we are seeing mixed earning numbers come out. We have gold hitting an all time high. Right now last I looked it was at fifteen oh nine and and that's beating records. Another day, another record. <laughs> Silver at a thirty one year record high. We're last time I looked we were around forty nine dollars knocking at the door 50 bucks there crude oil hovering around 108 dollars per barrel and the markets here let's take a look at this we have the dow down 0.2 percent the s&p down 0.16 percent nasdaq actually leading the charge here and doing so, um, we saw a lot of the technical stocks doing fairly well. We have the Russells down 0.17%. Now, if you look down here, the banks led the broader markets all day long, which is good. But the VIX spiked up 7 point, almost 4%. Gold slightly up, U.S. dollar down 0.12%, crude oil flat to down. But transportation index was actually up, leading the Dow. So we saw some underlying uh, market breath showing bullish activity out there. And let's take a look here at the S&P daily. You can see that we have a little bit of a hammer. Now, a hammer at the top of a leg means you have a hanging man. We also we have what's called a bearish harami. So it doesn't look that great. You could also say that we have a tweezer top. So not so you have three reversal patterns in one. <laughs> so you got a tweezer top, which are very powerful. Then you have a bearish harami, and then you also have a hanging man all right here together. Now it's only confirmed if we go lower than today's low. Now, today's low is 13.31. And if we can close below that, look forward to a nice drop here. I can see it's dropping quite a bit here to maybe 13.24 area or even lower. That would be a pretty significant drop by any stretch of imagination. But on the bigger time frame, look at these two green lines that I have going here. These two green lines I showed you over the weekend, this is a rising wedge. That is where where we're at right now. For us to go bullish, we really need to get some legs here, not hang up, and we need to get over this 13, let me show it to you, 1340 area. That's a huge area we need to get over. So if we can pop over this trend line, pop over this trend line, uh, and also the 1340 area, um, it, that should be good news. We should start to claw our way back up to this line up here at the top. So that's where we're at. All right. With that said, tomorrow we have com um, consumer confidence coming out 10 a.m. or a half Eastern Standard Time or a half hour after the market opens. That's going to be a huge number, that consumer confidence. I'm not saying... I, I'm not foreseeing that as being 
overly um, is is going to be a great number. <laughs> I'm not overly optimistic that that is going to be good. However, anything can happen. Of course, we have the GDP already uh, forecasted to be below um, where we were last month. The GDP is a big number coming out on Thursday pre-market. That's a huge number. We have a lot of economic news coming out this week, gang, that we need to keep our ears open to. Be heads overnight or go flat and watch this week. This should be a great week for day trading. So take your time out there in the markets and watch the market breath and those indicators that are out there. Furthermore, I want to throw something out there to some of you guys. Um, there, I might be interested in maybe doing a little barter with those individuals who are that have some things of value that they could add back to our company here at Grok Trade. And um, specifically, although I'm open to anything out there, if you have something, throw it at me. But one thing that I might be interested in right now is um, people who are web developers, specifically in PHP, um, and those people who are programmers in that language, and not those that just toy around with it, but you know what you're doing. I mean, you, you're very confident in your skill sets. And then editors, videographers, um, those that have editing setups and very comfortable and do editing, I'd be interested in talking with you. So anyway, you see the email there below. Just feel free to shoot me an email. Looking forward to hearing from you. Take care, everybody. Safe trading out there. It can be very dangerous in this volatile time.